Hey guys, what is up? It is Monday here on Inner Life. I'm Nikki, and I waited a long time to do this video, so I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I'm going to enjoy this. This week we're doing kind of a fill in the blank. It's if Inner Life were blank, and I decided to do if Inner Life were a K-pop girl group. If you follow me on Twitter or Tumblr or anything recently, then you'll know in the last about year now, I've been getting into the world that is K-pop. Literal hell, because there is so much going on all the time. And I've been thinking about this for a while, you know, what if we were a K-pop girl group? I thought that I would assign all of us roles and kind of talk about that, and then tell you what Inner Life would be as a K-pop girl group. So, let's get to it. First off, in any K-pop group, you have the leader. But I would be the leader, I would be the go-between between our company and us, and I would be the one that would like have to quiet everyone down and make sure everyone knew what we were doing that day and this and that. Like I would kind of be in charge. Our Oma, our mom, <laughs> would be Ashley. Even though there was only a seven month age difference between me and her, she still moms me a lot. So I can only imagine what it's gonna be like when all of Inner Life is together. So along with being the our mom, our, our Oma, our mom, um, she would also be the co-leader because I am the more upfront one. Like, I'm more sit down and shut the fuck up and look at what I have to say, and Ashley's more, all right, kids, let's let's sit down and talk about this and get this out of the way. This is Asia. Asia would be the egg yolk queen because she's so cute. She's constantly cute. Like, always, doesn't matter what she's doing, she's cute. She would just have to, she would be cute all the time without trying because she already is. Nicole would be the more quiet one in the group but she'd be the really funny one. Behind the scenes, she would constantly have all of us cracking up and she would, everyone would know that like she was the closet classic, closet class clown. Too many C's. I feel like she would be mom the most by Ashley, but she would still be like, okay, cause she's one of the older ones too. And Shara would probably be another kind of quiet one, but she'd be the clean freak. Like she, you think Ashley mom says, Shara would be like, all right guys, it was your eating mixture, clean up your mess. Shara can't do messes, she can't. It, it, honestly, I've seen her watch videos when people are making messes and she just cringes the entire time. Shara would also probably be one of the, the, the cute ones. Like I could see Shara going off after our girl group was done or while we were on a break and doing other stuff, like fashion wise or makeup wise. Like I see her doing other things in that general area. Last is Amanda and she is the Mokne, which is the baby of the group and I feel like she would fall into the category of golden Mokne's because I feel like there's in our group there would be a lot more to Amanda than we would see and I just I, I think that would become a thing. Other assignment roles obviously our singers would be Asia, Nicole, and Amanda more than likely if Amanda wouldn't be a singer, she'd be one of the main dancers. But those three would definitely be the singing part of the group. Leaving me, Ashley, and Shara as the rappers, and I think we would do a fantastic job. I truly do. And I think the main dancers, like the ones who would be in charge of um, choreography and making sure that we were on, in time and stuff would be Asia and Amanda. I know both of them have been in plays and I think musicals. So they have a lot more experience. Always a beagle line, always a mood maker, always a gag line. And I sincerely believe that would be me, Asia, and Nicole. <laughs> because I think the three of us would always constantly be bickering at each other and people find that funny. So, and we'd be like the mood makers. Like if it was kind of awkward, one of us would do something to kind of like lift the mood and make it less awkward. I love Ashley and Shara and Amanda, but I feel like the three of them would make things more awkward, so they'd leave all that to us. And last is the debut. I feel like our debut as a girl group, as a new K-pop girl group, would probably be something really cutesy, because most of us are really cutesy. I don't think anything like sexy or uh, dramatic would work for us for our debut. And I think if we were ever to go have a comeback where we were a little darker, a little more badass, it would have to be like a gradual thing. I don't think we could go from key to debut to our, our first comeback being like all black and like vampire goth type of thing. It would definitely be cutesy with like cute little dances and cute little outfits and a cute happy song. 
uh, I don't know, maybe about love, who knows. Um, maybe about how fun it is to be a girl. <laughs> it would all be lies. I don't know. I really want to do this and I hope this was good. I just, I wanted to get this out into the world because I've been thinking about this for so long. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. If you have any suggestions for our girl group, let us know because our OK Pop Girl Group 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you next Monday. And until then, well, goodbye.